Into the new and chilling details after authorities say a retired Wisconsin judge was targeted and killed. ABC News has now learned the alleged gunman had once appeared in the judge's courtroom. And authorities now say the suspect had a hit list in his car, including several other public figures. Here's ABC's Alex Perez tonight. Tonight, we're learning more about the link between a retired Wisconsin judge and his alleged killer. This is such a horrific uh, crime. This is a targeted attack on a public official and a, a judge. The state's attorney general saying the man suspected of killing Judge John Romer in his home early Friday morning targeted multiple people, including the judge. This act appears to have been related to the judicial process. An ABC News review of Wisconsin court records found in 2005, 56-year-old Douglas Udi pleaded no contest to armed burglary. Judge Romer sentenced him to six years in state prison. Udi now in critical condition after allegedly turning the gun on himself. Others reportedly on his hit list, Michigan Governor Gretchen and Whitmer, Senator Mitch McConnell, and Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers. It makes me feel ill that uh, somebody that devoted his life or a good share of his life being a, being a jurist in the state, you know, in rural Wisconsin, and that's hard work to be, to be targeted like that. It, it makes me, frankly, stick to my stomach. Today, the Wisconsin Attorney General calling for more protection for judges and public officials, a cause taken up by U.S. District Court Judge Esther Salas of New Jersey, whose son was killed and husband shot when a man targeting her posed as a delivery person to gain access to her home. Salas has been trying to get a bill protecting judges' security through Congress. Judges are being assassinated, and it is time now that we say enough is enough. And David, in all, authorities say there were 13 people on Udi's hit list. The exact motive remains under investigation, but officials say they do not believe there's an active ongoing threat. David? All right, Alex Perez tonight. Thank you, Alex. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.